Welcome Capricorn Aquarius to your Astrodice reading for October. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay friends, let's see what's going on with you and your Astrodice. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with Carol and make a small horoscope for the month. Uh-oh. I just lost the dice. Okay, guys, let's go. Got some Mars coming out with some Capricorn energy in the second house. Nice. So going over here to Mars, we have your physical energy, drive, strength, and fighting spirit. Ooh. Lots of fire going on, getting that strength and that drive for this month in the second house, really wanting that second house. Okay, this is where your energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition. Nice. Really wanting that, really climbing that mountain over there in that second house. And, you know, with that strength and that drive, guys, and really having that cautious ambition and really hard working and putting everything you have into it. Um, it's really going to pay off um, in the end. Uh, your assets, finances, and the things that you value. You can feel that energy just really pulling. Going straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. about honoring your path yeah then of course because underneath that Mars it's like you know what I am gonna honor this path by fighting by doing what I want so that I can be the rock star that I want getting to exactly what it is I want when we're talking about this money and the things you value um, happy success so really feeling like you're on the right path and I love that towards the happy success um, and really being creative right now in the beginning of the month. So, you know, if you had writer's block or anything like that, you feel like, you know, things are starting to really come back together over here. So I really love that. In the middle of the month, there is a little bit of stuck energy um, coming through. But I like it because it's saying, you know what, I can let this go. Everything that I'm doing, I can let that go. I'll be able to let this stuck energy go. Just give me a little bit of time over here to transform the things that I really want. So anything that is kind of stuck inside the energy of, I'm not sure if I could do this or that, I'm definitely going to be able to get rid of that. I love that. The end of the month, you have the milestone. Next part coming out is a little bit of fear based of how you're doing things, but definitely having the angels in the four directions. So you still feel like you're still pulling and you're still pushing towards the things that you really want and feeling like you have a divine push as well. So just know that, you know, the divine is pushing you where you need to be. There is a little anxiety going on about the situation as you are hitting the milestone. And, you know, we'll see exactly why it just feels really like, can I push past this is really what's going on in the beginning of the month. Holding, the, holding all the cards. In, yeah, look at that. Because I have the power, I hold all the cards, the ball is in my court, and I know exactly where I'm going, and we have that strength coming through. This is a Sagittarius strength that's coming through that's saying you can do this. You can go that extra mile for the happy... Uh, happy success with the temperance. The temperance is, you know what, this is moderate, but it is bringing in the happy success that you really are looking for, really traveling with the resources you have within yourself and really feeling like you are kind of in your own zone um, with the nine of coins because that's saying, you know what, the grass is green where I am. I'm in the right place. I'm on the right track and really using what you need for the creative endeavor. So it just feels like it's just going to the ideas that you have are just going to continue to keep coming up, right? Um, really feeling that. So that's really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. With the stuck energy over here, you do have the three of swords. So it does feel kind of like there could be some reconsiderations um, of things that are going around during the middle part of the month. Things that might be feeling maybe a little delayed, a little stuck. Um, you know, things that you might want to have better connections with. Letting go, knowing that there is other things around you, really looking at what it is that you're proud of. There's a lot of gratitude and a lot of information to be received within this situation. So if you let it go, 
um, whatever that stuck energy is, you're saying, okay, that's okay because I can have a deeper, meaningful discussions with other people about how I'm getting to the second house. Uh, maybe it's even within yourself, having this trans, you know, formative um, situation and energy going on over here, really transforming things for yourself, allowing the energy to flow, really getting inspired about the situation, having revelations as well um, to really get you moving over here with the Six of Swords. So I really do like that as well because it's saying, look, I can get inspired to transform all the things that I'm having a little bit of difficulty with to be able to move forward. So you're going to find that in the second house, things are starting to have a little bit more of a powerful moment to learn about things and to really get things done. Um, and of course, you have that drive to keep going, guys. So I love it. With the milestone, you do have the high priestess coming out that's saying, you know what, any secret desires that I do have, I can release this, look at them, and really see the winner within myself as I'm hitting this milestone, really getting to where I need to be moving moving fast. Wow. So very fast. Um, and you're going to see that, you know what, I'm almost to the finish line. Now I do see that the fear is here. And like I said earlier, um, it does feel like maybe I'm afraid, you know, is it going to be fast enough that I'm going to make the quota? Am I going to make it to the finish line? It feels like it's right there. Um, you know how it's going. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Eight of swords with a fear card. So yeah, kind of a little bit of trapped in your mind at the end of the month of whether or not this is all going to really um, pay off in time. Um, am I really going to be able to get to where this achievement is this month? Um, but you know what? You're going to feel like a winner, and I love that because you have the judgment card coming out. So the judgment card is saying, hey, you know what? I've got all this down. I'm going to have some great news coming through, um, more discussions and situations coming through that are more solid and solid foundations of the financial issues that can take place. So, wow, okay, you got the situations going on here. And I love this because this, you know, this blessing that's coming through with this message at the end of the month is something that's going to be informative, that's going to help you, and there's going to be a lot of important details. Hey, look, even if there was details I overlooked, we can look at this and actually be mindful of how we're going to get to the situation, right? I love that because even with the four directions, it's saying I'm a little more, fear, you know, free spirited about the situation. I feel like I am being divinely pushed into this area, um, right? Anything I was careless that didn't seem like it was moving the way it wants to be now gets to go the way it needs to be. So loving that, and you could have this Capricorn or a Virgo in there helping out with the situation, bringing more support to the situation and you know for a lot of you that's who's actually you know could be that or a gemini who's like hey you know what this is where the information is coming from let's you know let's get this done and it does feel like a boost of confidence that's going to really help transform the situation wow death card again yeah and you're going to really feel that and you're going to feel this kind of divine connection to what you're doing in the second house because everything's kind of falling through um, towards the 30th to the 31st, might even be the 29th, um, but definitely feeling like you're more inspired um, to the situation. And, I, you know, this person, whoever is going to bring out this information for you guys, right, they're on the right track for you as well. So you're going to find their energy is very good. I really like that because they're looking at everything too. And they're going to say, hey, you know what? Change is necessary. I have this for you. Um, you know what? Let's work together. So... And there, there it is, you know, your assets and finances um, in this situation just start really picking up the pace. Um, so I really do like that. I love that energy. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.